Is there anything worse than setting up the point, hitting three, four beautiful shots, you get that super easy ball, and you just duff it in the bottom of the net long, whatever it might be. It kills your confidence. It makes it very, very difficult to want to attack on the short ball. And let's face it, that's what the game is all about, is what you do from the backcourt is about getting an easy ball to put the ball away. So sometimes this is a, a, a byproduct of poor footwork, meaning that it, when we miss, sometimes it's the byproduct of poor footwork. If you follow my videos, you know what, what I absolutely preach is fast, fast feet and slow hands, right? Ball's coming in easy. We want to slow our hands down and use our forward momentum on this shot. So really quick feed those adjustment steps, slowing the hands down and working through it. But that's not it. It's also about technique. So the best in the world hood the ball. And so what hooding refers to is just what it sounds like. If the ball was ahead, I'm simply putting a hood over it. When I'm making contact, I'm not directly underneath it. I'm not flush with the nose. I'm slightly on top. And so for those high balls, when we're getting them in the mid court, we have the luxury of getting down on the ball a little bit. Now, of course, this varies according to height. All right, this is also, this technique is referred to as a dip drive. All right, so what's important to know here is that all of your strokes can't be the same. And this starts with where your contact is and where your racket finishes. So the further back I go in the court, the more I'm gonna get under the ball and the more height I'm gonna play for to achieve depth and make sure that I stay neutral, certainly don't wanna be defensive. But a lot of times what will happen is back there, maybe I'm using a shape or even if I'm driving, I'm still getting more top spin. But let's differentiate what a shape is. And this simply refers to when the ball is descending. So if the ball has bounced and I allow the ball to descend, and then I hit up, that's a shape. I'm sending a rainbow. And you can see why on a short ball, I wouldn't want to use that. It's allowing my opponent way too much time to get over there and defend the courts. And what's going to happen is that the ball, if, if I've hit a ball while it's descending, they're going to hit the ball while it's ascending. So let's talk about that because that is what a drive is. So on the drive, as the ball is ascending at the apex here, That is where I want to strike the ball if I'm looking to be super aggressive. Instead of sending that rainbow, I've now shot that arrow. It gets to its target really fast, all right? And the key here is to hit it while the ball is ascending. So some of the best in the world that do this happen to be uh, Americans, Teller Fritz, Stevie J, Steve Johnson, huge, huge forehands. We're going to take a look at their footage now. And what I want you to pay really close attention to is what, where their contact is, what the racket is doing, but also where their finish is. So traditionally, we're taught to finish high on the forehand follow through. On a dip drive and hooding the ball, we want to finish lower. So at that contact, we want the racket to come across a little bit lower in order to make sure that our trajectory stays low and we don't hit the ball out. All right, guys, so in summary, what we really want to focus on is getting the ball at the apex or while the ball is ascending. That'll give us that drive, shooting that arrow, taking the opponent's time away, and finish with the racket a little bit lower than you traditionally would. If your traditional follow-through is up here, make sure you're finishing at the shoulder or even below the shoulder. Below the shoulder is it's, it's one of my favorite finishes. I think that's where you'll see the most the, the most gain with the ball, with getting that ball to bend really quick up and down so that it doesn't go out. Use that along with the fast feet, slow hands, and you'll be putting away all the easy balls with no problem. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.